to Kevin Alexander Gray about a man we haven't talked about yet, uh, Ron Paul, uh, what he is appealing to generally and in South Carolina, and how you feel about him. Well, the libertarian vote in South Carolina isn't very large. And, uh, of course, Ron Paul's television advertisements in South Carolina feature a black man. Now, and I know he's made several buys in the uh, on black radio. Romney has done direct mail to black voters in South Carolina. But, you know, if the progressive community, from my perspective, if they want to make sure that the anti-war message, anti-imperial message remains on the table all the way to the Republican convention, and being that there's no Democratic primary, you know, I've been telling people, unless you're going to be a delegate to the convention or you're a party uh, officer, then why not go into the Republican's house and influence at least that very narrow part of of the, the dialogue, the anti-war, anti-imperial, anti-national um, defense authorization bill, anti-Patriot Act, uh, th those issues are important, and, and, and Ron Paul keeps those issues on the table. I think he'll probably come in a, a third, probably get a lot of the old Nader vote. But, um, you know, obviously, black folks and Democrats are set to vote for Barack Obama as an expression of their dissatisfaction with, with the Republican Party. They're not that willing to get into the Democrat Republican primary and, and kick over some chairs, which I think they ought to. Mm. Well, we're going to leave it there. Kevin Alexander Gray, civil rights activist, community organizer, speaking to us from Columbia.